Hello friends, welcome to Amazon Software Webcast and uh, in this video demonstration we are going to see how to manage partitions in uh, Windows Server 2012 R2. So the simple and uh, traditional way to manage your partition is uh, diskmgmt.msc, disk management console for Windows and here is the, our disk 0 and uh, our partitions. In the last video we just see the how to create a partition and uh, uh, what is the primary partition, what is the extended partition and what is the logical partition. So let's create uh, another one new partition. Click on next. Let's specify the size 50,000 MB. Click on next. And here's the information about the travelator and path. And by default, this selected is assigner travelator. And that will be a uh, first free travelators. You can also select as per your requirement. But currently it's uh, e drive. And that's why let's select e travelator. You can also mount this partition in a uh, any empty NTFS folder. So later we will mount this partition to M into empty NTFS folder. Click on next. Here's about the file system. So we have a NTFS, uh, XFAT and RFS. So let's select NTFS, allocation unit, volume label. Let's remove it. Now here's the perform a quick format. Click on next and finish. That's it. What uh, happen if you required more uh, space on your partition? And uh, for example, we have a 48.83 GB space, but uh, what happen if you require additional 10 GB free space on that partition? So in that scenario, we can extend the volume. And for that, just you have to select the right click and then select extend volume. Click on next. Now here, you can specify the size. For example, let's uh, extend up to uh, add 10,000 MB inside the our partition. And let's click on next and click on finish and as you are seeing now our partition size is 58.59 GB so this is the way how we can uh, extend the size of any partition but uh, for that case you must have a unallocated space on the disk so extending and shrinking have uh, some uh, basic limitation you can only shrink a partition if it has uh, enough free space and you can only extend a partition if it has uh, unallocated space to the right of uh, it on the same drive so you will see a uh, empty unallocated space to right of the partition if you can extend it Windows can't extend a basic partition to its left. You will need a third party software for that. So if we want to shrink a partition, means if we required a certain space in that time, we can shrink a partition, but make sure that time on that partition, which you are shrinking, it must have a certain free space and then you are able to shrink that partition. So let's shrink up to 10,000 MB, click on shrink. And that's it. So now our partition is 48.83 GB. If we want to change the drive later, and if you see uh, my computer, we have a uh, e drive later. But if you want to assign uh, some uh, something else drive later, and that time users have to select right click on it and then select change drive later. From here, click on change and let's assign M for MSFT webcast. Click on OK. Click on yes, and that's it. So now, as you are seeing, we have a Revelator M. Let's create another partition and we want to mount that partition inside the empty NTFS folder. Click on next and we want to assign Revelator E, but this time we want to mount. So open C drive, inside the C drive, let's create a new folder. Let's give a name database. Okay. If you see the property, we have same sharing, securities and previous versions, all the options are there. So let's mount the partition under the database folder. Click on OK. Click on Next. Same options. I'm not going to modify anything. Click on Next and Finish. And now the partition is created successfully. But if you see on a C drive now we have it's look like a, a shortcut. Okay, and that's uh, let's create a folder. Let's give a name simple. And now let's uh, assign a drive later. Click on Remove and change regulator click on add select regulator e and if you see now we have a e regulator and the folder is also there so you can create a partition and you can assign a regulator or uh, you can also mount inside the any empty ntfs folder so for how we can delete a partition 
and just to delete the partition you just have to right click on it and select direct volume okay and here's the if you want to delete extended partition just right click on it and select delete partition but make sure you do not have any logical partition inside the extended partition click on yes and if you want to delete a primary partition just right click on it and select the empty volume and that's it so this is the way how you can manage your partition you can create a partition you can shrink a partition you can extend a partition as per your requirement you can delete the partition you can change the travel data you can mount a partition in uh, any empty empty page folders and that's all about the disk management you can also perform the same task from here so here's all about the disk uh, we have a disk zero and if you click on a volume we have a volume c we can also create from here click new volume click on next select disk zero click on next specify the size that's uh, 50 gig click on next and we can assign a drive writer. we can specify the folder path where we want to mount the uh, our partition and if you don't want to assign a drive writer, select this click on next click on next and that's create just right click on it and same options area like manage drive writers and access path if you want to modify the uh, drive writer, let's select drive writer edge click on ok and now we have a drive writer edge if you want to modify the label let's apply ok and that's it if you want to extend the volume you can select and the new size will be for example let's give a 60 gb click on ok and now as you are seeing we have a 60 gig so this is the way how we can extend the partition but if we right click and if you try to select the try to find the options for shrinking and you can't find over there so this is the way how we can manage your partition in uh, Windows Server 2012 R2. That's it for this video demonstrations. Thanks for watching this video.